we give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. That's where they first heard about this hope. It was when they were listening to the preaching of the gospel. You know, there's a lot of gospel preaching that I don't know that it ever mentions hope. It mentions a lot about sin and judgment and hell. and uh, That's all part of it. But, but this message of hope, saying, ladies and gentlemen, you could have a fresh start. You could become a new creation before the day's out. Heaven could be your home. You could be as sure of heaven as if you were there. God has a plan to transform your life, to reconstruct your life, to take the wreckage of it and make you new and suit you for the world to come. And when you look into the faces of Christians and you see them as they're lying on their deathbed and there's a smile on their face and a glint in their eye and they're saying, can't wait till I get there. Can you die like that? When Graham Staines and his two boys were burned to death by the Hindus in uh, Orissa, the widow came on the evening news. We're talking 700 million viewers on Indian national television. <laughs> and she told them, I forgive you for Jesus' sake. Now you need to seek forgiveness from God too. If you want to be right with God, you need to seek his forgiveness, but I forgive you. And that was such a powerful thing as far as the gospel was concerned in India. I've met people who got saved directly as a result of that confession of forgiveness by Mrs. Staines. They just couldn't take it in. They thought, there's Hinduism and here's Christianity. Like, what kind of an option is that? Of course we want to be Christians. The hope that she had, I'm going to see them again. It's just be a little while, I'll see them again. When we see that response, this is the gospel we preach. And so the Apostle Paul says, you heard it. When I preached the gospel to you, you heard this. This was very much the, the flavor of the message we preached. It was a message of hope, a gospel of hope. My anchor is tethered outside of this world. My hope is in heaven. I'm looking to the Lord Jesus. So if your gospel is fruitless, maybe you need to add a good dose of hope to the message you're preaching.